what's up everybody joshua cast we're back at you with a video tutorial and today we're working inside a phase plant from kilo hearts a really really great synthesizer if you haven't checked it out you need to and in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this bell sound from nothing but noise this is a noise oscillator over here if i turn this off I mean, that's what it sounds like. So I'm not going to go through exactly how I made the patch. The patch is a little bit complicated and this video would be 20 minutes long. But what I will do is show you the fundamentals of getting started with the patch. And I'll also throw the patch up online on my blog and you can just download it if you really want to get in and see exactly what I did in terms of routing with modulation and so on and so forth. So if you're looking to really see what's going on, uh, click the link in the video description to go ahead and download it for free and check it out. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. So what I'm going to do is actually come in here and let me just delete this and add a new instance of phase plant. And I'm gonna add a noise oscillator. You just click right here and it's a generator, it's noise. And that's what it sounds like. Uh, right now I've just got some pretty simple MIDI in there and that's it. So the first thing we wanna do is just pull down the sustain. And we are already well on our way, right? So the next thing we want to do is add an EQ and I'm using the slice EQ and note here, I don't know if this comes inside of Faceplant or if this is an additional plugin you need to buy. It's probably an additional one because it's really, really um, powerful. Keep that in mind here, but I'm going to add the slice EQ. Now what I want to do is come down to the modulator and I'm gonna put a MIDI note follower. So this follows the incoming MIDI. You can see it moving around right there. So I'm gonna come into the Slice EQ. If you click the pencil, it will open it up and I wanna add a filter. You just click right there to add the filter. And then if you click right here, you can have your filter parameters. Now, obviously I can just come in here and do this, but I'm gonna do some kind of surgical stuff. So I'm just gonna come into the filter over here. And if you right click, you can type in an amount. Tuning is 440, generally. I know there are other ways to do it, but that's what I'm gonna be using for this video. Gain, I wanna go up all the way. Q, I wanna go up all the way. And you can see how it's really making a peak there, a very sharp peak. So you can hear, you can start to hear anyway, the bell. And there's actually a curve value right here, which I can bring up to 96, which makes it very sharp. So we're well on our way, right? So the next thing I wanna do is, this is the process we're gonna be doing. Actually, let me open that back up. What I wanna do is manipulate the cutoff frequency depending on the note coming in from the MIDI. So right here, I can now add the note to the note value or add the cutoff to the note value. And then I just wanna take this and put it at 100%. And now if we listen. So that's the very basics. So now you can actually hear what's going on. And if, you know, if we add a, a filter over here and like really bring it down or something. You know, that's what we're looking to do. But we're gonna go uh, a little bit more intricate than that. So the next thing I did was put a bell instrument here. I think it's an operator. I'm not really sure, it's not really important. And I made sure it was as pure as can be. And that's what it sounds like. And then I went in and used Pro-Q3's grab feature, which is a feature with while the audio is playing, if you hover over it, it will kind of freeze it and you can really lock on the position. So you can actually see here that the this is peaking at 446, which is slightly detuned. And you might want to emulate that inside of your patch or not. But what I did from there was come in and look at each one of these harmonic peaks, okay? And the more close you wanna get to the bell sound, you wanna add each of these peaks into the Slice EQ inside of Phase Plant. So, you know, I came in here and I just marked down 1992. And if you look right here, what I did inside of a notepad was just mark down however many peaks I wanted. Now I didn't go all the way up and I didn't put in all of them. It totally depends on how much you wanna get into it. Open up phase plan again. I'm gonna come in here and I'm actually gonna load up the preset. So if I come in here, I have a bell from noise. 
And if I come over here, you'll see that I have all of those positions here. So what I wanna do, and all I did again was just uh, come in here, right click the cutoff and enter the values that I had inside of this paper. Very, very simple, straightforward. So the next thing we wanna do is add each of these cutoffs to the note over here. So what I'm gonna do is click add and then just click add over here and then just pull it up to 100%. Add, pull it up to 100%, add, pull it up to 100%. Okay, so now that we have all of those filters following the note MIDI value, what we wanna do is, I mean, if I crank up the gain here, You can hear, we're getting a fuller, shapelier bell sound. But what we wanna do is actually come in here and add an envelope, okay? And then we want the envelope to be kind of the shape that we're looking for. Pull down the sustain, we can pull right here to change the curve. Release really isn't that important. And what I wanna do now is add this to the gain of each of the filters, okay? So if I come in here and add it here, and we'll pull that one up 100%. And then we wanna double click the gain to set it at the zero position. And we wanna do that for each one of these and then just kind of add it a little bit less each time. So we'll kind of have a sloping, uh, the harmonics will kind of be sloping down. Now, if you remember the Pro Q3, it actually had a little bit of a dip and then came back in towards the higher frequencies. Again, if, you, if you're if you looking for a more natural sound, then that's what you'll want to do. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and just kind of do a slope down. So let's do 80. Let's just drop it down by like 20% each time. Double clicking, we'll set it back down to zero and that's what we're gonna wanna do. But for first, let's go ahead and just add it. You know, we'll go 70 here, around 60, add it. Or maybe let's try it. Let's put up a, a little bit more in the higher frequencies. Let's bring it back in. And what we're also gonna wanna do is double click and make sure the gain starting position is in the middle. So I'm not really feeling it up there in the high range. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this down for now. And now that we have kind of the basics, right? We wanna come into the decay maybe. And there we go. We're so close to the actual bell now that, I mean, it's negligible. So this is, You wanna bring this down pretty far before it gets sent into the EQ, and then you wanna use the decay down here to really shape it out afterwards. Okay, so we're really close to a bell there. Now, some other things that are a really good idea for something like this is, you know, put on a transient shaper down here and maybe boost up the attack. And another thing we can do is come over here and on MIDI, there is a velocity. So we can route the attack to that. Let's put it back down to zero and boost it up. So what this is gonna do is if you have soft parts, the attack of the transient shaper won't add anything, but as you really start to hit velocities that are quite high, it will add more of an attack of punchiness to it. And you'll wanna do this with you know, a lot of different things depending on how reactive to velocity you wanna be. You wanna set up a filtering system and so on and so forth. I'm gonna pull up the pump here. Uh, another thing we could do is put on a filter system over here towards the end. Uh, we could also put on a limiter just to make sure. And what we wanna do over here is pull the cue down and bring on the cutoff up and write that to velocity as well maybe. And essentially just continue on your way like that. That's essentially the tutorial. As I said, I did a lot more in the initial patch, but I mean,
You know, what I would actually do is come in here and adjust the gains a little bit um, in terms of how much and the shape of the actual harmonics that come in as some stuff happens. You know, it's already sounding better just turning down the actual gain amount there for uh, the envelopes. Anyway, uh, that's where I'm going to stop the video tutorial. I just wanted to show you this because I actually learned about this using one of the patches that comes with Phase Plant when you get it. And I was just blown away that the incredible sound I was using came from a noise generator. And I was like, it took me a while to figure out how to get it done, but I figured it out and I figured I'd share it with you guys. Anyway, as I said, you can download the patch that I have from my blog if you want to kind of reverse engineer it. And of course, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.